In this video, we're going to look at how to bring the .move file into iMovie to add the audio. So I've got iMovie open and we need to import the .mov file that we created when we exported the presentation from Keynote. Click on File, New Project, and the New Project pane opens. iMovie will give you the option to, to create the uh, project using a pre-made theme, but we don't want to do that, so just make sure no theme is selected. Give your new project a name. Make sure it's in widescreen 16 by 9 and the frame rate should be 30 FPS NTSC because that's the frame rate that we exported it when we uh, exported it in Keynote. Don't worry about any of these automatically add cross dissolves because we've already got our um, animations and everything in the uh, .move file. And then just click create. So now we have a blank project. And next we want to click on file, import, movies and we browse to the place on our computer where the .mov file is stored and we choose the file that we want to import. So we want to click create new event and we'll give it a name and you want to make sure optimize video to its full original size is ticked and I always have copy files ticked rather than move files. And then we can click import. iMovie then begins importing the video. And it says here time remaining about one minute. This may take one or two minutes depending on the speed of your computer and also the size of the file that's being imported. So we just have to be uh, patient and wait for this to import properly. So now you can see that iMovie has imported the file into the new event pane. So we click on it, make sure the whole of the video is highlighted by clicking and dragging right down to the end of the movie. And then we can just drag the movie into the project pane and let go. And there's the movie. You can see if you press the space bar, it'll begin playing through. Okay, so now we want to add some background music. So you can either click on the music icon on this side here that shows the inspector and you can choose something from your iTunes or you can just um, find a folder, browse to a folder on your computer where you've got some music background tracks stored and you can just drag it into the project. Okay, so with the project highlighted, you can actually see down here what is the length of the, uh, of the movie track. So it's best to try and find a, a background music track at least as long as that or a little bit longer if possible. If the track's longer than your movie track, then um, iMovie will automatically shorten it uh, so it is the same length as the movie track. Whereas if it's shorter than your movie track, you're going to have to uh, import it again, uh, duplicate it in other words, so that it, it covers the whole of the movie track rather than just ending abruptly before the movie's actually finished. So I'll browse to a place on my computer where I've got a suitable track and I'm just going to left click and drag this into the pane and you want it so that that green background comes in. You can see it disappears and appears again but as soon as it's appeared you can let go. That means that music track has come in into the project pane and is going to be a background track for the whole of the movie clip. So now you can adjust the audio to your liking. You want to go up to the beginning of the video track and click on the little cog icon and then click on audio adjustments. And then the inspector appears. And this is where we can adjust the volume of the background track and we can add in a fade in and a fade out if we want to. So you may not want it as high as 100%. You can just take it down using this slider. You might want to fade in. I'm not going to worry about a fade in for this one. But generally, I like to have a fade out. So tick this box. And I would say, for example, maybe perhaps a good three and a half seconds. And when you're finished, you click Done. So now you can play the video within iMovie to see if you're happy with everything. 
you can either press this second play button and it'll play within this preview window, this preview window here, or you can press the first play button and it'll play in full screen mode. If you want to play from a particular point, you can just drag the scrub head along here and then uh, to the point in the video you want it to start playing and play by pressing the space bar. To export the movie, you click Share. And you can choose to export it directly to YouTube, to Facebook, to Vimeo, or you can export it directly to your computer. Use Export using QuickTime. You're then asked to make sure you've got the correct name for your project, the correct folder, and then go down here and choose to export the movie to MPEG-4 and then you click Save. The other option is to click Share and do Export Movie. Again, you've been given a chance to change the name, but you also get the chance to choose what size you want to export it in. And iMovie tells you uh, which devices this particular size is suitable for. So um, if you change it to large, um, you know it's suitable for all these uh, different devices. If you change it to medium, it's okay to play like on an iPod, for example, or you might choose for it just to be um, suitable to play on a mobile. Generally, I would just leave it at HT 720p, and then you click Export. The only problem with doing it this way is that it will just still be a .mov file, whereas when you click Share Export using QuickTime, you get the option to save it as a .mp4 file and then you can go ahead and upload that to YouTube or wherever you want to. And that's basically how you export your final video uh, from iMovie.